Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. I do have a question for you guys. When this little song actually, you know, now nah, let's let it finish. You gotta let a song like this finish. I do have a question for you guys. Okay. Welcome to the stream, everyone. I do have a question for you guys. What's up, Wolfie? Hyper. Robert, welcome to the stream. T-Speed. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the stream. What looks better here? Okay. It's like, it's a weird time. It's like 7 o'clock, and, you know, as it starts to get nicer out, you know, it's like, it's like weird at like 7 o'clock. You know, like, it's the sun's kind of setting, but not really. So what looks better? <sighs> Thank God I have a long wire. Look at this thing. This thing is like easily like 20 feet. Okay. With this light closed. Wait, no. Does that look better? So like if I were sitting here, does this look better? That's too dark, but does that look good? Or with this. Like this. Does this look good? First one looks good. Yeah, I feel like this is a bit too bright, and the other one is fine. There we go. Alright. Alright, we're good. So let's put it in scene. Welcome, everyone. Oh my god, this is like streamception, Jesus. Holy moly, let's get that out. Okay. Same transition all the time. Love it. Oh, yeah. I, I had to figure out a new transition because, um, my other one was I would just, I would play, like, a Queen song, the Office theme, and then a bunch of other ones, but then Queen got old, like, in terms of this generation. Like, Queen, like, had its moment, and then the Office was, like, had its moment. I needed to find something else, so, I don't know. I'm still looking. But... If you don't know what the plan for today's stream is, is first couple hours, maybe first hour and a half, I'm going to be watching videos sent by T-Speed. Yeah, we could do the Avengers team. I'm pretty sure I'm taller than Pellucci. Listen, short Italian guy, not that hard to do. All right? Uh, like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, um, if, uh... If you have videos related to the Club Penguin drama, you want to just DM them to me over um, Discord. Um, T-Speed sent me a couple. We'll be doing that for a couple hours. And then around 9-ish, we're going to be playing CPR. So if y'all aren't into the drama, y'all don't want that, you can leave, come back at around 9-ish. Filipino, African-American, around 5'10". I'm only 15. Jesus. You got lucky on your jeans, bud. Lucky. Eh, it's okay. You know, I've gotten used to being this height. I don't really care anymore. Uh, T-Speed. Here we go. Okay. This video right here. We're going to be reacting to this first. Turn this up. We'll put that in, I guess, this mode. Right? Alright, let me pull up the chat on my phone so that way I can see what y'all are saying. This is hard. Okay, here we go. Um, our CPR video sent. Yeah, it's like the sick truth of Club Penguin Online from a former staff member. This is the first video. Watch part two of this video, then watch some more of part two. Okay. All right, 34 minutes. All right, y'all ready? Hey, it's buckled in. I'm ready. Let's go. Also, I'm going to try and not pause a lot, but if I have something to say, I'll sure say it. Dom, Rope, Slashy, whatever you guys know me as, whatever you guys want to call me. Uh, today I'm making this video uh, because I want the world... This is a uh, Toontown. Uh, what Club Penguin Online is doing, what the owner of that game is doing, 
and the evil, the sickening, the disgust that that community has uh, and that is hiding from you, the user. Many of you guys are going to stumble on this video uh, because someone shared it to you, uh, because you were looking to play a Club Penguin game uh, during this quarantine time, or just because you want the tea. Uh, my name is Twix. Uh, I go as Twix, Dom, Rope, Pong. I've, I've gone by many names uh, throughout my years of playing Club Penguin, uh, throughout my years playing the CPS community. Uh, and today, right off the bat, it's good he's been playing a lot. We know he's because you know there are some people. I think especially I don't know if this is the case during Pigeon Pigeon Patrol, whatever they were called. People that don't really play Club Penguin, and they come into the community, they try to cause havoc. It's good that he's played for a long time. We know he's a trust... I like that he's trustworthy. He knows what he's talking about. Today, I'm making this video because I need the world to know what it was like for me to work with someone who owned a game that is as popular as Club Penguin Online, and the evil, disgusting, twisted, demented shit that went on that I hid from everyone for so long. I played Club Penguin uh, since I was seven years old, so in 2007, and then I uh, didn't like the idea that Disney incorporated a membership to wear clothes. I didn't like my Penguin being naked. So my friend at the time in fourth grade introduced me to CPS, which stands for Club Penguin Private Server. That is then where I found out that you could be a member. You can curse. You can add um, any amount of coins. That's a any fact. Amount of items that you wanted for free. CPPS's and back in the day. I've been in oh, the they were so much fun. Place. For the last four years, I have been staff on Club Penguin Online. I just been recently resigned. Four years. Uh, about four months ago, five months oh. ago. Uh, but in those four years, I worked and played. Can you turn this up a bit? Yeah, sure. I got you. Got you. Yeah, it's good. All right. Put that back. Club Penguin Online. Now, Club Penguin Online used to go as Virtual Penguin dot in, uh, and they were pretty popular. Uh, that was the server that everyone was playing right before Club Penguin shut down, and then Virtual Penguin dot in rebranded themselves to Club Penguin Online. Club Penguin Online is ran by someone known as Riley, Anthony, Sienna. Uh, that's all the nicknames that he's gone by. Uh, he's gone by Ramirez, um, Mickey, uh, Bugs, God, uh, Jesus, Satan. He's gone by so many different... Why does this guy have so many nicknames? I guess we're going to find out. Names, I, I don't remember. Riley is a 20-year-old man that his real name is Adiori Adeboye. He lives in the United Kingdom. He's, like I said, 20 years old. He claims that he goes to university for uh, psychology. Uh, and he makes all of his income to pay for college classes through the ads that are on the Club Penguin Online's website. Now, this video, uh, you guys see me playing Toontown. Makes sense. Uh, this is a voiceover of me uh, talking to you guys and, I guess, ranting about why Club Penguin Online is not a good server and why children uh, and everyone should stay away from this server. Uh, what I'm going to tell you uh, is going to be graphic. It's going to be disturbing to some, and it's going to make a lot of you guys sick. Uh, but the truth needs to be out. I'm, I'm tired of, of going on Snapchat, watching TikToks, and seeing people playing Club Penguin online, not knowing the evil history behind this. When game. was this released? Because I know shit hit the fan. Oh. Okay. So this was before shit hit the fan. Okay, so if I'm getting this right, this dude made a video. And then shit hit the fan. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I need to go in with that mindset. I have screenshots that have never before been seen, as well as videos of the owner himself um, that I'm going to all incorporate inside this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is going to be probably a three-part series, uh, just because this video is probably going to be pretty long, and I don't want to bore you guys. So, yeah, let's get into the video. So... Riley, uh, let's get into who Riley is as a person uh, and his upbringing, and then we will get into, you know, the other parts of the video. 
So Riley has been in the uh, CPS community since I think 2013. He used to be on this site known as Riley5.com. It was owned not by him, it was owned by a completely different user, but this was a form board that the CPS community used where people would develop stuff for the Club Penguin online community, talk, chill, stuff like that. It was a form board strictly for Club Penguin related topics. Riley <laughs> used the username Anthony at the time. He wasn't a known figure in the Club Penguin community. Uh, he was still, I believe at the time, I think he was a minor at the time during 2014. Yes, he was a minor at the time. So Almost he wasn't shit. known. He wasn't uh, anyone that the community knew. He was just kind of there. Uh, I believe in late 2016 is when Virtual Penguin first uh, aired and first opened up. Now, Virtual Penguin.in wasn't popular. Riley owned a lot of CPSs in the past that failed. Uh, he wasn't a developer he was friends with developers who created servers for him gave him the ownership and then he would just basically claim that you know he created the server that's the life right there all right like not like if you have it in to where you can have people create stuff for you and then say it's your own like right there like and this is 2016 he's talking about. So for four years, I'm going to assume, right off the bat, I'm going to assume this guy doesn't know how to make um, um rooms in a Club Penguin game. He doesn't know how to do all this kind of stuff. Like, he doesn't know how to actually develop a Club Penguin private server. But he's just been, like, like the ruler figure. That's all I'm going to develop right off the bat. I mean, hey. When I, back in 2017, I was like, hey. What if I made my own Club Penguin server? I had no idea what I was doing. I thought about it for a day, and I was like, no, that's stupid. I'm too young to, like, be responsible for people's information. So, we'll see. Uh, so, he owned Virtual Penguin.in uh, in 2016, and that is when I uh, became staff in 2016. Uh and there was rumors that, you know, Riley was doing some fucked shit. Uh, he was asking girls for naked photos. He was, you know, being pervy. Uh, but no one really knew if that was true or not. Uh, there wasn't enough evidence linking to that. Uh, there was screenshots going around of Skype conversations uh, that are true. All this That's a fake hacker cunt. Fuck Timmy the super betraying cunt. It's his time will fucking hunt you on me, scam people. I don't know. I don't have Tinder. Make one. All right. So, re all right. So, if these were screenshots known, to be fair, I you know what? I find a lot of people. I'm sorry. I'm pausing. I find a lot of people. Not everyone. There are some great guys that rise their way up, get into these positions of power. In quotes. I don't know if running a club penguin server is power, but there are a lot of people that get into these positions of power that aren't fit to be in positions of power, or they use dark, like, dark ways. They use shady ways to get into these positions of power. You know, like, look at this one right here. So? Let's get conversations that you guys have seen. All, all I'm saying is, before I'm going into this video, like, in 2016, these people all knew what kind of guy he was and didn't do anything about it. Didn't do anything about it. They're, they were complacent in who he was, you know? Uh, of him asking girls for nudes, saying that he needs to hire more girls. Zoom out, the video is too age, zoomed in. Saying, uh, oh, you're not a good fit for this staff because you're not See a girl. That looks. Uh, that, those are all true. See how this looks. Uh, and then I think what we'll do is I'll put the camera down here. Yeah. Put it a bit smaller. Yep. Or what if, wait, oh yeah, because, okay, I have an idea, we'll just, we'll just make it to screen, we'll make it to format, and then we'll, okay, that should be better. True. I was in that Skype group chat, uh, before Discord, before uh, Discord got popular, uh, Riley used Skype, um, and there was a That's Skype good. Snapchat uh, for Virtual Penguin, uh, where he would discuss disgusting things with staff members, such as DDoSing other servers, hacking other users, and at one point saying 
that Club Penguin Online is his kingdom. It is his empire. But that's what I'm... But this is what I'm saying. Like, all these staff members knew this was going on. They witnessed it in this Skype group chat, but they didn't do anything about it. So, of course, you give this guy a sick thought like, oh, I can keep getting away with it. Like, you're complacent. You're being complacent. Like, what? Going to conquer other servers and be the only Club Penguin server, and everyone is going to play it. Uh, now, obviously, at that time, people kind of scuffed at him, laughed at him. Uh, you see, you shouldn't but, do that. Uh, you know? People like this, you fast shouldn't do forward that. forward to now, he is pretty much doing that. Um, Riley owns the biggest server, uh, Club Penguin Online. Club Penguin Online is the biggest server out there. There is... No server that has as many active users, as many registered users as Club Penguin Online. And it's very scary knowing that wow. someone like took Riley, over Club someone Penguin that is sick-minded uh, and evil as Riley, owns this server. Riley is a pedophile. Uh, and, you know, I'm showing screenshots right now. People couldn't expose Riley because Riley would blackmail them, swat them. Yeah, it's it's really it's a tough situation, but I don't know, like even if you did it anonymously, you know, you used a burner account, whatnot, you know, and I guess this guy finally had the balls and good for him. Good for him. Good for him. Good for him. But going on the screen of proof that Riley's a pedophile. Riley has asked underage girls for nudes. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Hi, so this is for the mod. I love me a moderator. I love the community. Could you send pictures? Well, pictures. Nudes. I'm 16. Send. Oh, my God. I, yikes. Proof that Riley's a pedophile. Riley has asked underage girls for nudes. He has gotten underage girls to send him nudes. He oh, my God. Jeez. Chloe. <laughs> he uh has underage girls nude saved on his phone he has two phones uh one that he uses to text people and then his vault is what he calls it and his vault is all the nudes and all the doxes that he has of people in the past so my nudes are on there his ex-girl I'm girlfriend done. Vale's nudes I'm are done. on there. I'm ex girlfriend done. Sydney's nudes are on there. My docs is on there. Their docs is on there. Who else knows what's on there? I'm done. It's all on there. So Riley has asked girls for nudes. Um and he somehow convinces his staff to defend him and to stand up for him. Uh I did that for him. Uh and it was because I was corrupted by the power. You know what? say right now at least this guy has the balls to say you know what yeah i was complacent by it and but i woke up i saw what was happening and i made this video at least the guy has the balls to say that good for him good for him because you know there are going to be some people who are like oh no i was never for it i was never for it you know but you know this guy's admitting yeah i was complacent with it you know i stood up by him you know that Good I on had him. with Club Penguin Online. If you protected Riley while you were staff, Riley would not fire you, and Riley would let you do whatever the hell you wanted to do. Um, it's kind of that type of thing that if you do something for Riley, he will do something back for you. If you send nudes to Riley, he will give you admin in return. That's what happened with Chloe. That's what happened with Vale. That's what happened with Sydney. That's what happened with tons of other staff members that just kind of randomly popped out of nowhere and no one knows where the hell they came from. It's because they're sending Riley nudes and in return Riley is giving them admin. I have proof of that. Uh, the screenshots that you're seeing right now is from 16-year-old Chloe, which is one of his more recent exes, basically telling me that uh, Riley asked for nudes. I already she read that one. sent him nudes and she in return got admin now i want you guys to know that anyone under the age of 18 in both the united kingdom and in america is considered a minor chloe is 16 we riley is 20 years old in their 
in what's going on here is Riley is receiving child pornography in exchange for admin administration. Now, basically what happens is once Chloe broke up with Riley, uh, Riley actually met met her. He actually flew to America to where she lives and actually met her. And the only reason why uh. I know this is because I have Chloe on Snapchat and I was there. I saw the photos that she posted of Riley on her Snapchat story. So yes, Riley does have nudes. He does Fucking ask curve. underage girls for nudes in exchange for admin or moderator or whatever he wants to do. He has them saved. And that's a very, very scary thing to know that a game like Club Penguin Online that advertises themselves as a child game is collecting child pornography from their users or from the chosen users as he likes to tell them he he social engineers these girls into basically telling them that he chose them uh because of the excellent display that they're showing to the community and therefore in return he wants to reward them um he's crazy amen so i worked for riley amen uh, during this this time people say i'm a bad person because I stayed silent, uh, but the only reason why I stayed silent was because Riley had my personal information. He had my address. He had my phone number. He had photos of me, explicit photos of me. I never sent Riley nudes. I just want everyone to know that. I never sent him nudes. Um, I Didn't he say beforehand that he sent him nudes? He said he has nudes of me. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a, that's... Honestly, for me, if like, yeah, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't want my house to get swatted, yeah makes sense my nudes got leaked uh, because he hacked my snapchat account um, okay he hacked his snapchat account makes more sense okay because i pissed him off um he so he had off. information oh on God. me and he threatened me that if i spoke out against him if i told anyone what was going on that he would swat me and he would make my life hell uh so Jeez. for four years i was under riley's control uh, I was his slave. I did the dirty work for him. I doxed people for him. I uh, hacked people for him. Um, and, you know, for that long period of time, I defended him. Uh, if Riley told me to do something, I would do it. No and questions or buts. Um, and that's kind of how of how it went uh, until recently. I had enough of Riley's shit. I'm tired of Riley hurting people. I am tired of Riley... Uh, harming people, innocent people, attacking innocent people, and making him believe that he's some type of god, uh, as he continues to tell people. Uh, so I resigned. I quit, and now here I am making this exposed video. Okay, right so he's, he's no longer uh, on the staff. Okay. On the screen is all this evidence that I have of Riley doing this type of shit. Uh, what else has Riley done? Uh, Riley... Um, hires people to hack for him he's not a hacker he's harmless he, he he hasn't even created anything he doesn't know how to code he's just simply kind of there uh, he does more that's what i was saying advertising before. and marketing for club that's penguin what online. i was saying yep um the real owner of club penguin online is a user named timmy timmy runs club penguin uh he's code club penguin uh it is his game but riley owns the domain riley owns the discord so if timmy were to go against riley and fire riley well there goes club penguin online there goes Timmy's creation. Timmy will then be doxxed, swatted, and hacked. Just like uh, the former developer, Reed. Reed was a former developer for Club Penguin Online before Timmy, uh, who basically had enough of Riley's shit, left Riley, exposed Riley, in return, Riley swatted him, doxxed him, and hacked him. Uh Hold up. But if this, this Reed dude, if this Reed dude exposed him, right? What did this Reed dude expose? Like... Was it everything that this guy is exposing? Like, why? Maybe Disney didn't. Okay. Uh, and Riley does that with pretty much anyone that goes against him. Uh, and if you mention any type of, of, of questions to Riley that he doesn't like, he bans you. Um, Riley is also a big, big advocate on e-dating. Uh, Riley loves to date young girls online. Uh, he dates minors. He e dated Vale, who is a minor. He dated Sydney, who is a minor. Chloe, who is a minor. And currently, this girl named Miriam, who just recently they got a Club Penguin wedding. So congratulations, guys, on your underage <laughs> wedding. I'm Jesus happy for you guys. Um, but yeah, Hold up, Riley, I want to go read that screenshot. Your... I want to read that screenshot. What the fuck do you keep on banning? What the fuck are you fucking doing? You fucking... When I fucking ban someone, you don't go on banning. Who the fuck do you think you are? Do you want to be banned? I 
chat as well. Yikes. Yikes. That's all I have to say. Yikes. Recently, they got a Club Penguin wedding, so congratulations. Probably his personal guys, info that he. On your underage wedding. Why wouldn't I'm he expose you this? You know? Um, but You're yeah, going to expose Riley, that. Just expose this. Uh, he has done that, uh, that, that stuff. Um, now, Riley, like I said, has doxed me. He has my docs, he has my information. Um, and Riley has goons that work for him. Uh, one of his newer goons that replaced me was uh, is a guy named Twasim. Uh, he's been in the scene in the club payment community uh, a lot less than me, uh, but he moved up the ranks very fast because he's now doing Riley's dirty work for him. He's spying on Riley. He's threatening people for Riley, uh, and he's doing everything that Riley asks him to do. And then there's another user named Savannah, uh, who is a girl that uh, knows what Riley's doing. Uh, as you can see in the screenshots, but she claims that Riley is being a friend to her uh, because Riley, um, you know, backs her up or protects her and people harass her. Uh, she's under Riley's control, under Riley's brain twist and, and mind control. Um, but both of these individuals work for Riley and they defend Riley and his crimes that he's doing. Um, and, you know, they harass people. So um, Club Penguin Online... Um, you know, if they see a server that they consider that could take their users or a game that they see as a threat to their creation, then they will attack. They uh, Riley will send his hacker buddies to go ahead and get information on the owner, the staff that runs the game, and then go ahead and harass them, hack the server, or attempt to hack the server, and basically ultimately shut down the game. And in a few minutes here, I'm going to go ahead and play an interview that I did with Club Penguin. Do, do uh does Riley and Pigeon Patrol are they connected at all? Like is that is that a connection? Because it's to me an outsider here. That see and I was around for Pigeon Patrol. That seems like an immediate link you can make. Because unless I don't know of it, Riley never went after Club Penguin rewritten, which was arguably the second biggest server. They aren't. Didn't Pigeon Patrol reform? I don't know. So they're two totally separate things? Like, I don't know, to me, it would seem like Riley created this separate entity to, like, remove himself from it, and, like, he was telling them what to do, because wouldn't he just go after Club Hammer Written and steal them instead of stealing these smaller ones? Reimagined owner and a staff member of Club Hangman Reimagined. Now, Club oh, Hangman Club Reimagined, Reimagined. Hold up. Let's go back. Let's get into that. And in a few minutes here, I'm going to go ahead and play an interview that I did with Club Hangman Reimagined's owner and a staff member of Club Riley is himself, Pigeon Patrol is them. Okay, they're two totally separate things. Okay. Penguin Reimagined. Now, Club Hangman Reimagined was a server that was a rival towards Club Hangman Online. Uh, and was picking up users pretty fast. Um, I remember that server. Due to the kind of features that they had to offer. Uh, and in return, Riley didn't like that and basically harassed the owner and the staff members, doxed them, threatened to swat them, threatened to leak their nudes, threatened uh, just a whole bunch of horrible stuff. And ultimately, Club Penguin reimagined shut down due to um, them not feeling safe enough or secure enough to continue. Um, and Riley won. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, um, this server that we're talking about, Club Penguin Online, has six million. Let that number sink. Hold up. We're going to. How many registered users are on Club Penguin Rewrit? See, but, so isn't Club Penguin written the biggest one? And this was 2017. Oh, wait, yeah. They shut, okay, 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 makes more sense. They had that little shutdown, they deleted some accounts or whatever. Yo, what's up, million, Just Flipper? Welcome to the stream. Three thousand. Online had around maybe ten mil. Six hundred thousand are active. Okay. Uh, and you know, with the quarantine that's going on right now in the United six States, mil, across the world, whatever. There's Same more thing. people that are playing the game. So, this server is is a threat. We have allowed this man, this sick individual, 
to have this much power uh, the money that he's making he is using to have people $45,000. Made him $45,000 off of Disney's intellectual property. Yikes. I mean, <laughs> making bank. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'll talk about Disney and everything at the end of the video, but I have some thoughts on that. People hacked. He is paying hackers to do these horrible things. You're giving this man money uh, because the ads that run on his site he uses so he has ad revenue on his site so for those of you that don't know how ad revenue works every single time that you visit club penguin online there is a set amount of ads on the site if you don't believe me go on the site and you'll see advertisements those advertisements are put there by riley to generate money now riley claims makes a claim that he uses those ads that pay for the server costs that's bullshit he uses that money to fly to the america he flies to america to meet uh his girl Screenshots also I heard Riley. Smells really bad too. He didn't smell bad with me. You should have robbed him, idiot. I think soon as he covered man, you should have snitched on him. Isn't he ugly? Yes. Oh, so he's ugly, okay. So that's isn't he girlfriends to sexually groom them or to pay hackers to do dirty work. I never got paid by Riley because my reward was that if I hacked for Riley, if I doxed for Riley, uh, in return I would be a moderator uh, and I would not be demoted. Uh, and he did that. Uh, so I never actually got paid, but there was hackers. I'm not going to mention their names because they're my friends. Um, that's that's facts. I've always wanted to make a CPP. I'm way too stupid to do that. I don't know coding. I don't know any of this stuff. Don said that Riley was arrested, but on bail, he's, and used all of his money he got out of CPO, but I'm pretty sure he's arrested now. He's getting out of this. You know what? People like this, they've locked up. That's all. That's all I need to say. But that he has paid in He's been doing this for years. Or he was doing this for years. Hack people. Um, so the money that uh, is generating from those ads by you guys playing his game, he's using that money to harm the community uh, and to harm uh, innocent children, individuals, and families. Um, so let's go ahead and get with that interview. And then once the interview is done, uh, I'll go ahead and continue uh, exposing Club Penguin Online. All right. So right here, I have, I'm in a call currently with Hannah and Jess. Now, to give you background information on both of these uh, people, uh, Hannah uh, was the owner of Club Penguin Reimagined, also known as CPRI, which was uh, a not a rival store. Oh, this is long. Online, but another uh, alternative CPS uh, server that you can play with. And then I had it's Jess, like ten minutes. Was, okay. uh, a staff member on uh, CPRI. For a long this is time. low volume for me as well. So if you guys need to turn it up. And good friends with me. Uh, both of them had encounters with Riley. Now, neither one of them staff for Riley, which is what I'm trying to make the point that Riley doesn't care if you're a staff member or if you're an innocent person. He will go after you if he doesn't like you or if he sees you as a threat. Uh, Riley saw CPRI as a threat, and Hannah is going to go ahead and give her input on her experience with Riley uh, being an owner of a server that personally got attacked. And then after that, Jess is going to give uh, her side of the story of her encounter with Riley, never being staffed on Club Penguin and only uh, having encounters because of CPRI. So Hannah, thank you guys for doing this interview. I know this is considered dangerous in some people's eyes, considering that Riley is more than likely going to try to target us. But uh, if Hannah, if you want to go ahead and give your side of the story, uh, your experience with Riley. So <clears throat> I was just a community member at first in cpo i kind of started at cpr moved to cpo and heard some things about riley asked around the community and some people confirmed some people can denied and i did some more research uh actually jess and i and a bunch of our other friends did some more research and it's another thing real quickly she said some people confirmed some people denied Information, when it's held at the top, you know, everyone eventually gets bits and tidbits of it. You know, it's all up to the purpose. If someone tells her, no, he didn't do this stuff, 
but they know he did, but they don't believe it. But they're saying, oh, no, he didn't do this stuff. You know, that's just saying, oh, okay, it's safe to play this. You know, people, that's why information, it's the truth. Information is power. If you have information on someone, everyone's going to come to you for it. And hence, you're going to feel powerful. It's the truth. It's fucked up, but it's true. It's true. Ended up meeting an ex CPO staff member who ended up handing me CPRI over a course of a few months. Um, <sighs> CPRI got a lot of attention from Riley and CPO staff and community because one of Riley's ex girlfriends, Cindy, was posing as one of my staff members who ended up being one of my co-owners because at the time she was the only person that knew enough about the community and running a community because she had been in Corey's servers for so long that she was just my only choice. So I chose her out to be my co-owner and then that's when shit hit the fan. We started, before we even opened, like, launch, before we even set a launch date, we started getting, like, <clears throat> DMs from staff members. We started getting rats in our community. Hold up. Things. Hold up. I need to check something. We're coming back to this. I need to check something. Did I play this? Did I play Club Penguin Reimagined? I think I did. If I go to YouTube. Uh, it'd probably be in here. If I go to my... I could have sworn I did. Videos. Uh, no, wait. No, that was Club Penguin reversed. Okay. I don't know whatever happened to that. Okay, I didn't play that one. Okay, right, continue. Show goes on. Like, some of our photos were getting leaked. To, like, you believe he's still out on bail? <laughs> so there was, you know, potential stuff that we were doing in a, you know, a month that they could do within a couple of weeks. So they could have stolen some of our ideas with some of these rats, meaning that rats are dangerous in any community. <laughs> um, over time, once we launched, he started botting our site to the point where people just couldn't get on the servers anymore. He, uh, he found out a lot of personal information about me and a bunch of my other staff members. He tried to dock. Jesus Christ, what a weirdo. Me and at the time, my best friend, like personal best friend I've known her since I was literally a baby and somehow after all of that after doxing us or attempting to dox us um we'll watch that one later somehow got her and a few of my other staff members to leave my staff and work for him and become friends with him and be on his side or whatever what's up penguin rick welcome to the stream and over time we just kind of like got too many untrustworthy people in CPR. Stop swimming. I don't know what that means. Riley just ended up harassing us so much that we just kind of like lost control of the community. Oh, swimming. Lost control okay. of the staff and like lost control of Yeah, the I got a lake by me. And uh, we ended up once around the time that we ended CPRI, you, uh, us three that are here on this call right now got a bunch of spoofed phone calls which looked like they were from each other but they weren't they were from riley if we answered them it would be him or him playing some audio of some sort in the background or like laughing or just some weird shit yeah just got text messages from him i I'm the devil and you are watching Catherine in your grave. You've normally purple hair talking to your friends. Okay, Voodoo is telling me. You have the wrong number for Voodoo tells me. Name's Dom and Hannah. That's so, so I care. So. 
Adoroy Adorable. He got multiple phone calls. We've all got no caller ID phone calls from him. Yeah. Um, I'm sure some of the other just like random numbers that like look like toll free numbers were him too, but we just didn't answer them because we just don't answer that kind of shit anyways. Right, right. <laughs> but now, um did you have any was it only solely Riley that you had experience with? Um or was it I, I know Riley has um goons or people that can try to throw him like Quasim, Savannah. Did you have any encounters with either one of those individuals? Uh, or was it just mainly Riley that was the one that was stirring up the pot? Um, I'm pretty sure both of them were in our community. I know for sure Quasim was under an alt because he was threatening to ban CPO users for joining CPRI. Mm -hmm. And then he was basically forcing to choose sides. And during all the time, Riley was like threatening our server, botting our server, literally sending threats as usernames after as you've put in this video and some screenshots mm -hmm. um i was pregnant and engaged at some of this point and he ended up harassing me so much that i ended up having a miscarriage which he threatened upon me and wished upon me he was Yikes. like i hope you abort your baby i hope you miscarriage i hope i make you miscarriage like he got on my site and like leaked my fiance's last name and just a whole bunch of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. like, he... so that was that was Hannah's side of the story. So Hannah, for being the CPRI active user, playing games with any of the other staff, or was it just Riley? Okay, um, I was just a community member. I that's how I met Hannah actually. Um, at first, um, I was friends with T. At one time, I don't know if you want to hear about that, but sure. Um. When I first joined, I was good friends with TV. Mm -hmm. um, and what started me kind of thinking things were a little weird over there was she would make smaller comments that would purposely try to get me in trouble. Mm -hmm. And she would be like, oh, like, what that person said. And then she would ban me. And I would be like, oh, well, why am I in trouble? And she would be like, oh, because. Why can't I have you call me? Like that when you can have some kind of key. Key is going to the vault of accessory. I'll take a rope to Jesus Christ. Because you repeated what someone else said, and I'm like, okay, but you asked me to say these things, and now you're getting me in trouble. And then she slowly started to figure out the things that. Yeah, I get the gist of all this. I get the gist. I'm gonna finish this video and I'm gonna talk about it. We were we gotta power through this. That we all did some research in our little group chat at the time. And she started to figure out that I was I was finding out things. So she was making sure like I was banned from everything and then all my friends were getting banned from their site. And I, I didn't care. I was like, I know the truth about what you guys are doing. That's it's wrong. Right. And she didn't deny anything, so that kind of confirmed what I already knew. And then when Han was handed CPRI, um, I became an admin on Han's staff. Mm. Um, as she said, all of our staff was a mess for a while after Cindy. And then um, when they started leaving and hanging out with Riley or whatever, um, that's after all the phone calls started, which you obviously know. Right. Um, I got texts from Riley's girlfriend at the time um, threatening the relationship I was in that I'm no longer in, but I was the person I was dating at the time. I had texts threatening my relationship. Um, I had text talking about, like, when I was on the phone with you guys that one time, um, yeah, and out, or, like, a fake account, and was like, oh, like, I'll buy you the thing you put on your story, and on my, still to this day, do not know who was on my Snapchat or where 
that came from. All right, so welcome back from the right. interview. So as you can see, guys, um, what I'm telling you is not is not bull. I'm not here to, like I said, to spread lies. I'm just simply here to warn the public. Uh, obviously, I know people are going to watch this video, and they're going to still play Club Penguin online uh, solely because they're ignorant or they don't believe so. But just know that when you play Club Penguin online, you're giving this man money to do what he does. Uh, but anyways, uh, continuing on topic. So from that interview, as you can see, those were the Club Penguin uh, reimagined staff and owner uh, that both had firsthand experience of Riley, uh, you know, harassing them, uh, causing issues and making their life hell. Um, I, if you don't believe me uh, in terms of, you know, Riley truly being this individual, and I know not everyone who's watching this video is going to believe me. They're going to say, oh, you're just one of those people that got banned from the game and are simply upset and spreading lies. And that's fine. You do what you believe. Uh, but if you search Riley CPO on Google, uh, you can look at tons and tons of Reddit posts of Riley's uh, messages. We're doing that later. Of We're doing other that later. Riley stories uh, and his victims coming out against There's Riley a sheep, with screenshots sheep, yes, and evidence of Riley Island. asking Continue. individuals for expert photos, it... threatening individuals. Like Club Penguin Island, like the 3D version, but it's it sounds interesting. I'll check that out. But you said something before. I forget it, but I might actually make a CPPS. See, the problem with making a CPPS, like, do you know how to do it? I, I don't know how to do it. No one knows how to do it. You know? I mean, at least, you know, it's it's all confusing. What's the point of it? You know, honestly. You know, there are bad people out there. Are bad people out there? People's lives and well-being. Um, in a few moments here, I'm gonna show on the screen uh, DMs of me and Chloe, uh, where she told me that Riley asked for nudes, and in return for nudes, he would give her. CPU admin. is going to be. Uh, oh, I that's cool! It's a program. DM that's better. It's not a website. Well that's cool. That doesn't believe that's me. cool. And then I also want to show you guys uh, Riley's one of Riley's goons, Savannah, uh, messaging me on Discord, basically telling me that she's going to report me to the police uh, because back in 2019, um, she added me uh, to a group chat with Riley where Riley basically leaked all of my nude photos um, and uh, leaked my address. And I told her that I would hurt her if she ever did that again. Now, obviously, I made a threat, not the smartest idea, but this threat was made a year ago. She recently added me on Discord and uh, told me she was going to reply. Hey, Dominic, if you think you can threaten me and my dad without the police getting involved, what could, I, what could you possibly not know? I never threatened you, so can you leave me alone? Hmm. Report me to the police. Um, I have recording of, of those DMs. Uh, she tries to deny it, as well as evidence of her calling my phone from a no caller ID number 68 times in total and then admitting to uh, one one so away from glory performing call harassment <laughs> uh, i had to change my number because of her because she would not stop she then proceeds to not be able to get a hold of me through discord or through uh, my number because i blocked her on discord and i changed my number so she found my snapchat adds me on uh, snapchat and then proceeds to message me there so uh, I'll just post all these screenshots on the video now. Uh, so, to where are all these look, screenshots? Feel free to pause. Um, but yeah, so like where I are said, they? ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here because where are they? Uh, spread the message, spread this video. Oh, uh, I'm going to make a part two video with other evidence that I have. All I right, this video I guess they're you. indivisible, invisible, indivisible. Let's read some comments. Feeling like God because you want a game about me. <laughs> this is 42 minutes and this is from a verified account tell you you type that in right there and bam you they actually had a functional website so i mean they gotta have some this looks like a really high quality video this looks like a really high quality website or a high quality video 
so it looks really high quality. Yes, that video, watch it. Okay. I'm going to watch this one. Firstly, Disney, real quickly, Disney is absolutely, they are absolutely right to be going after Club Penguin Rewritten, Club Penguin Online. Well, I'm going to separate the two real quickly. Club Penguin Rewritten, Club Penguin 3D, and any other CPPSs. Because they're making money off of Disney's intellectual property. I know us as a community say, oh no, but we have fun with it. No, they took away our fun. But, you know, we're, we're talking legally here. Disney has every right to, to claim what is theirs. You know, they have every right to. In the case of Club Penguin Online, it was the trigger. They were, Disney was absolutely right to shut them down. And now Disney, I don't know what their point of view, but what I would think, if I were Disney, I would be thinking, well, is this going on somewhere else and we don't know? We don't want a bad image from this because I think Disney always knew these existed. But it was like, we don't want to put the time and resources into making another Club Penguin, so we'll let these independent ones exist. We don't really care about it. But if Disney shown complacent in these servers doing this kind of stuff, it puts a bad image on Disney. So Disney now has to go shut down all these servers. You know? I don't know. It's just... That's, that's what I think. Alright. What's up, Max? Alright, we're gonna watch this one. Um, maybe we'll watch that one. But I know for a fact that 9 o'clock, we're done. 9 o'clock, we're done. We're playing Club Penguin. This is gonna be get. If we're gonna get a, um, uh, we're gonna get a, uh, third point of view, like a third party point of view, like someone who really isn't involved. Leaves me unfazed over the internet. It's stories of predators hanging around near children's games. You know, I've seen it years ago with the Minecraft community when a lot of exposing was going on. But the thing is, I wasn't surprised and I wasn't shocked. The thing is, this stuff unfortunately goes pretty hand in hand. Now, the today's video is all about Club Penguin, and a lot of you might say, well, Muda, Club Penguin's gone. And you're right, it does not operate in an official capacity, despite some of the news sites that almost make it seem like it still does. Today's video is all about the biggest private server that is running right now for Club Penguin, with over 6 million registered users, maybe even a lot more than that. One where you know most of these user bases are going to be filled with children. So what happens when you take a server that has a giant child population and alleged allegations, allegations so disgusting that you have over hundreds, if not thousands of screenshots by numerous ex-staff members, victims I like that, this come video out, already. that have gone I like this video. for years up until now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax. I like this video. The editing is good. That Music Disney does not good. own. One that's run by randoms all over the internet. One that has allegations, piles upon piles upon piles high. Sit back. Let's dive right into the story of one of the biggest and also one of the Club Penguin servers with the shadiest reputation right now on the internet. Hello, guys and gals. Me, Mudahar. You ever understand how things can get depraved when it involves Club Penguin? Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a rabbit hole that might be one that's... Uh, one of the darkest I've covered. Now, he seems starting it. off, this video I have to re-record numerous times. Okay, number one, it's going to be a virus investigations video. Then Cavos made a video, and it went from a virus investigation to a Diddler investigation video. And then I had to record again, when there were even more allegations tossed into this. Now, I've got a bunch of receipts. I've got a bunch of categories to go down. But that being said, let's get into this Club Penguin rabbit hole. Now, let me give you a history of private servers, so to start. Private servers are unofficial okay, servers that are created this. by fans through this. reverse engineering or through shoot on video, which got discontinued briefly, you know, sort of joke around. Then I played the 2017 reboot on video, which got discontinued a year later. And from what I know, Disney doesn't even operate Club Penguin in an official capacity. I think the best thing was the DS game that was kind of Liddy McTitty. I'm just going to be real with you. Uh, but ever since then, this game was removed, and the only surviving form of it is with private servers that utilizes the game's original SWF files which for those of you who don't know is what Flash Player uses to run these web programs and web games in. A bunch of servers have popped up using these assets, but the biggest one we're talking about today is Club Penguin Online. 
Now, Club Penguin Online has around 6 million players that they claim have registered on their server. Now, if we're going to go with uh, 10 to 15 percent of that amount being active players, which I think is an okay amount, a yeah. healthy amount to sort of guess a conservative amount, with how aggressively advertised the game is, I wouldn't be surprised if they're making at least over fifty thousand dollars a month, maybe a hundred thousand dollars a month. I work with online ads. I understand the amount of money that we can be making, and with their and if you took ten to fifteen percent of six million players active per day then I think it's not shy to admit that you'd be making tens of thousands of dollars a month. Now, this video started off, this whole situation started off with an ex-moderator, ex-staff member called Dom, Tabos. whose YouTube Check channel, that. Joey Hughes, actually basically whistle blew the entire operation, talked about a lot of these allegations, and we just watched that member, video. an operator within just this faction called Riley or Anthony. Now, before we continue, okay, these videos have some serious allegations by Dom. But before I go in myself, I wanted to try and see this website as of now. What you're about to see is content recorded on May t Monday, May 11th, 2020. So I went into Club Penguin Online and I did a quick little investigation myself. Now, first thing to note on their website, if you wanted to check, is if you type in Club Penguin Online on Google, you're actually going to come across Club Penguin Online, their, their server first, clubpenguinonline.pw. It's a recreation of the original Club Penguin. Because this is a children's game, they haven't actually notified anybody over here that this is a game for mature individuals. This is still billed as a children's game. It was always a children's game. And they haven't notified that it's for an intended audience of 18 or above. Now, going to their website, you can see that most kids may fall for this being the original Club Penguin. Now, they actually have aggressive monetization on the top with banner ads and around their website. But to the right, one thing to note before we continue is the flag. They have a US, UK, Spain, and a flag from Portugal. That being said, this could easily identify a language to pick but they have actually straight up put the countries right there. Flags are the countries. They could have mm. mentioned languages. But since they threw the country flag over there, remember, that means they know portions of their audience are from these countries specifically detailed. That's important later. Clicking the Play Now section, you have to enable Flash, obviously, to run their games. And we're going to do that. And over here, I'm loading into the game right now. And I'm going to create an account in front of you. And here you got create free account, all these rules. And now nowhere in this entire ordeal are you going to notice that there is a parental requirement at all. So I'm giving them my password, which I mean, if you want to use the account, go for it. I don't care. Um, it is what it is. I gave them a burner email. And uh, as far as penguin names go, it was a penguin name. You have to use a Gmail account specifically because... Um, they require it maybe to counteract spam or whatever, but that's just a case that they have. Mm. Now, here they sent you an email. Again, aggressive monetization. They sent you an email. Again, no mention of any children or not. No mention of parental permission at all anywhere. They even have a copyright down over here, educational license. And then they say, we don't hold copyright. They actually mentioned Discord, Twitter. Again, important to know for later. Uh, we're going to get real Phoenix righty up in this, so just expect it. Now, here I sign into the account, and as you can see, they've got plenty of servers, some of them very dead, but we're going to connect to the big one, Alaska, and we're going to sign into their server. Again, they're using Disney's logo to advertise it. That means they're still violating intellectual... Well, I mean, to be fair, if you did play Club Penguin, you would know that this, like, intro thing... This was a thing in, like, the newer Club Penguin where, like, it would, like, appear if we start, it would, like, to the big slowly one, come out at you. And we're so all in. they literally had to do, they could have cropped out Disney and put online on, but they were too lazy to do that. To their server. Again, they're using Disney's logo to advertise it. That means they're still violating intellectual property. We sign in and we see a bunch of players. And here I can confirm they have children running this. So you've got a bunch of kids signed on. And I'm going to say they're kids because of the stuff that they're chatting. Because it's definitely not something an adult would do. Are you not sus of me yet? I mentioned where's my homie Riley in the chat. And that got banned because you can't mention Riley on the server at all. Otherwise, you risk the good old ban hammer. <laughs> How old were you when I adopted you? What? what? What's going on in this server? No, I don't go to school. How long has it been? Ice cream. Oh, man, dude. Poor me. I'm sorry I abandoned you. Ooh. <laughs> 
They even have a Discord that I could sign into, which uh, <laughs> was not happening, by the way. Now, even typing their uh, competitor, which is Club Penguin Rewritten, is cost to get a slap on the wrist. Oh, let me tell you. You type that in right there, and bam, you've used an inappropriate word. At this point, I'm trying to figure out what doesn't get banned over here, and simply asking for where I can hire. Hold up a second. Hold up. One second. I'm not turning text messages off, Max. I see that. I'm not turning text messages off. All right, let's go back. Let's just go back. Where was I? Okay, wait. Let's do that. 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 Wait, we forgot to. Uh, how do I do that? Oh my god. It's tedious. There we go. Hire some South American cartel members to, br to, to, to do the dirty is not banned. So let me get this straight. Cavos is banned. Riley is banned. Club Penguin Rewritten is banned. But ain't no cartels getting banned, let me tell you. Narcos Mexico Season 6 will already come into a Netflix account near you, let me tell What's you. What's happened? Bam! You now, you don't go to school. How long go. has... Was not happening, by the way. Now, even typing their uh, competitor, which is Club Penguin Rewritten, is cost to get a slap on the wrist. Oh, let Damn. me tell you. You type that in right there, and bam! You've used an inappropriate word. At this point, I'm trying to figure out what doesn't get banned over here, and... Simply asking for where I can hire some South American cartel members to, br to, to, to do the dirty is not banned. So let me get this straight. Cavos is banned. Riley is banned. Club Penguin Rewritten is banned. But ain't no cartels getting banned, let me tell you. Narcos Mexico Season 6 will already come into a Netflix account near <laughs> Yeah, this you, is entertaining. So that was my initial investment. This guy's entertaining. And the things that I told you to note for, which was no parental requirements the uh the countries that were mentioned because those are going to be important at the last phase of this video but let's continue on now their website also indicated a giant like level of unprofessionalism when they made a public statement about these allegations about them and most of them were basically ah they're all just jealous of our success guys yeah pretty pretty mature of all of you to say that but uh they also made a server called truth where they completely badmouth dominic and we'll get to all of that in a second too so the unprofessionalism and all of this stuff added up makes my initial investigation kind of pretty bad. I'll, I'll have to give them a I'll have to give them a two out of ten on the scale. Okay, uh, two being that they actually had a functional website. So I mean they gotta have some points, right? Allegations. All right. So I'm not gonna talk about names in specific, but the names that are mentioned are Riley and Anthony interchangeably from a in, in a chronological perspective. These were names that were switched around. Now Riley Anthony is a pseudonym, obviously for somebody who is alleged to do criminal activities. Now, I know this person's real name, and I know their, I, I know their name, and a lot of people know his name, but you know who else knows his name? Disney. Now, we're gonna look at some legal paperwork, buckaroos. Okay, you might be wondering, Muto, what's wrong with you? Legal paperwork right now? What's, what's going on? What, what's, what's going on with you? Well, if you go to this website called adrforum.com, this is a company that deals in arbitration, which is basically coming to a speedy, effective resolution in, in, in terms of not going down the path of litigation. This guy's really good, wow. Which wastes a lot of time, a lot of money, and honestly, better than it's that just not idea. an approach most people want to take. Just now, the, the in this quality. decision that really we're going to look at, right, this is the really video important. The was important for, like, Disney exposing. Canada, right, and the respondent is the Club Penguin Online leader. I'm not going to name names here. 
but they've identified them. Disney knows who it is. We all know. The domain name at issue is clubpenguinonline.com, who's registered with Namecheap Incorporated. Procedural history. Complainant submitted a complaint to a forum on July 19th, and they gave them payment. Now, on the following day, Namecheap was contacted by email, and they confirmed Club Penguin Online did belong to the actual person Disney was going against. Now, on July 9th, 2018, all right, they, the respondent, Club Penguin Online, responded to Disney on the due date of their complaint, right? The last possible day that they could respond. Now, the relief that Disney wanted was they requested the domain name be transferred from respondent to the actual complainant. So going from Club Penguin Online staff to Disney. Now, they had Makes three sense. contentions. Disney said that they were the ones who operated an online portal for kids widely known as Club Penguin, and they relaunched as Club Penguin Island. Complainant has rights in the Club Penguin trademark based on the registration in United States Patent and Trademark. Number two, respondent lacks rights and legitimate interests in the clubpenguinonline.com domain name because respondent is not commonly known by the disputed domain name and is not authorized by complainant to use the mark in any way. Respondent fails to use the disputed domain name in connection with a bona fide offering of goods and services or for a legitimate non-commercial or fair use. Number three, respondent registered and uses the domain name in bad faith attempting to disrupt complainant's businesses by using the disputed domain name to offer pirated copies of the complainant's products. So Disney has said that this game... Hold up. All right. I'm going to be back. I need to go do something. Give me five minutes. Ooh, announcement. Here we go. We're going to mute. <laughs> 